I usually like to think of materials uh, in 3D, the same way as 3D artists do. Perhaps you're already familiar with this, uh, but in any serious 3D software, when you're playing around with the materials that you put on your mod models, uh, there are a number of so-called material maps. These all do different things to the texture on your models. In this course, we can call them uh, material properties. And tweaking these different properties, you can get any material, material or texture possible. So when we paint, I think it's a good practice to think in these terms. And you don't have to put too much thought into this because I still want you to be quite suggestive with your details in your painting. Remember, you want to tell stories and create concepts. Making hyper-realistic stuff isn't really top priority. And there are tons of different material properties, but as usual, I like to keep things as simple as possible. Um, so we will be looking at the five main properties that make up any material. And these properties make up pretty much, yeah, all of these, like the, you can explain them with these five ones. So the first one is diffuse or color. This is the main color material. So for example, here you have blue and some green. Here you have more um, like beige. Here you have more brown. So that's what the diffuse property does or color property. Next, we have opacity. And this is basically how opaque or transparent the material is. So again, if you look here, you can have some more uh, transparent flames and a little bit more transparency here in this uh, sea water or this water. While by here we have only 100% opaque. You can't see through these. Now the third one is bump. We can call this roughness as well. It's not exactly the same as in uh, Roughness for 3D, but it will help you understand it more. Roughness. So this, these are the, this is the areas uh, of your material that are of the material that are um, extruded. Extruded in or in and out, in or out. So if we look, for example, at um, yeah, the water here, we have some areas here. They go up and down and do this cool stuff. And that's sort of the bump of the texture. And same here. Here we have some more bump. It just goes out of the, of the actual like sphere here. Well, here we have pretty, uh, here it goes in, right? So this is pretty much like kind of smooth. And here we can say that this is part of the texture where it goes out in a bump. So you can think of a, like a bumpy road, right? So you have the road right there and it's very bumpy like this compared to a very smooth road. So this would be like a completely smooth surface. And this would be bumpy. And then we have the fourth, which is reflectivity. Reflective. Your material is. So here again, uh, very unreflective. It's uh, just very smooth. Uh, while here, for example, you have this very reflective, almost like um like a mirror. You could put your face here, and you'd you'd see your face pretty much. While here, you wouldn't. You'd just see, yeah, just like the diffused light. You know, very smooth. And here again, you have very smooth. Uh, here you have also quite smooth and not so reflective. Here you have much more reflectivity, where you see more reflectiveness here, here, and these. So sometimes we call these specular lights. 
that's good to keep in mind. I mean, that's one of the maps you can use, specular map, but uh, in 3D, I mean. Uh, but it's, it's good enough to just think about reflectivity as one of the main material properties here. And the fifth one is a little bit more rare, but um, we need all five, right, to explain any, materi <coughs> any material or any texture. And that is luminance. Lu luminance or luminosity, I guess, uh, or glow. So if the material is uh, glowing. So for example, here you have some glow, right? Um, that means that this material is kind of glowing, right? Uh, fire is a luminant um, or lumin luminous uh, material. So using these five different main uh, material properties, you can explain any texture you want. Um, and I usually like to go kind of um, start with the color, you know, start with some, um, is it opaque? Is it, um, yeah, which color does it have? And then I start adding on some, you know, bump and, and roughness to it. Um, and then I, I go to reflectivity. So I start adding more highlights where it should be more reflective and stuff like that. So it kind of goes like one, two, three, and so on. Uh, luminance is kind of its own thing where I just start with sort of the, you know, diffuse and color, and then I start, start adding on more. Like glow to it. Uh, yeah. Like this, right? Um, so if we just take a look at quickly how these would look if we just have complete gray, just regular like these. And I'm using these shapes because they have some edges and it's also a sphere, so it gives it a, a little bit of both. So we can start with uh, diffuse and color. Let's see where we have them. That's the one. Block transparent pixels. And I can just hit Command B or Control B and then give it some color. can also add some color variation here. So we can choose maybe color here. Looks like a, a Yoshi egg or something. Right, so we don't have any, I mean, we, we do have some um, some idea of uh, of the um, of the roughness and the reflectivity. It's it seems to be very smooth, right? Um, like if you touch this, it feel like a matte a matte surface, kind of like uh, like these ones here, or or this one. So this would be diffuse. Now. Let's look at opacity. So this material would be more opaque, right? Um, well, I can just <laughs> bring down the opacity right here. And then maybe add, you see this shadow here? So this kind of indicates that this is completely opaque, like 100% opacity. And if I just paint the shadow more there, let's see. Am I doing oh this color? Just paint. Can make it full here. I won't make it completely back, but Just like that. So now we're seeing the background, and let's say there, there's a, um, you know, there's a guy here in the background. Let's 
he's floating, right? So we'd probably see him as well because it's opaque. So maybe something like this, right? So this is the opacity of, of, of this texture. Third one is bump and roughness. Bump. So the bump would be something where we see this, um, like let's say there's a, Switch brush. Like there's a crack here, right? Now this kind of just looks like, um, like paint or something, and it, does, it looks kind of flat. So with bump, we can add some more stuff to it, like this, like ref reflecting some of the highlights there, showing off some of this crack, th these cracks always thinking about where the light is. The light will affect the bump a lot. Um, if the light was coming from here, uh, first of all, this would be uh, bright down here, and then we'd see these highlights up here instead. But now it's coming from here, so. Something like that. And then also it could go outside. Right, so this is the bump. I think you're kind of getting the point now. Reflectivity, but it's important that we go through this because if you understand this, um, you'll understand how to make any any material really. So the reflectiveness would be where uh, you'd have much more reflectivity, right? So this looks very diffuse. It's not really reflective. If you put something in front here, uh, you wouldn't really see that much of it. So if we just make this a bit darker here. So if I just add very reflective point like that, see it already looks much more reflective. And let's say there's a thing standing um, right here, and it's a shadow. So this thing would be reflected here, we'd see something like Something like that. And then finally we had luminance and glow. So if this was glowing, we'd have something like, um, let's duplicate this one. Put that to linear dodge, add, and then create some blur. It's a quick way of creating some glow. And then you'd have glow under it. So it, it would affect its surroundings a lot more. Yeah. So those are the main uh, the main material properties, the five different ones. We had the diffuse or color, which is just yeah, the color of, of the material. Then how, if it's opaque or not, uh, the bump of it, the reflectivity of it, and if it glows, then yeah, this material. You can explain anything with this, like rocks and uh, metal and, um, you know, leather, the sun, fire, water, anything. So this is good that you understand. Um, and in the, in the next lectures, we're going to look at specific uh, materials like um, rock and wood and so on. And we're going to be thinking about these different things when we are, when we're painting. So see you in the next lecture.